We've done a good bit of driving around on Arethusa, but sadly not too much luck until now, as we have arrived at the Arethusa airstrip. And there seems to be an abundance of animals around at the moment. And well, our first animal is a family of warthogs. And I'm almost certain that it's the same family of warthogs that we've seen on a number of different occasions. We've seen them with the jackals before. Actually, I think we've seen them and the jackals interacting a couple of times. And it's nice to watch these little pigs grow. Because the last time, which again was last cycle, obviously, I had a sighting around here. It was with the, one of the jackals and this family. And it's good to see that all four piglets are still around because that's how many were here the last time. So that's good. And that's a few weeks ago. And every day that passes is a good sign. It just means that they've survived one more day out in Africa. Oh, sweet. Look how those three have all lined up. There's almost going to be four of them now. That's lovely. And especially with this beautiful light, too. Take a couple of screenshots. That's really lovely. Oh, mom was not too happy with that little pig coming closer. And that's another thing that's going to start to change is the, the attitude towards her little one. She's going to become less and less tolerant of them because as they get older, they're going to get told to sort of do their own thing and stop suckling. And it seems like a oxpecker, a red-billed oxpecker, has joined the party I come through and have a mid-afternoon snack. No, no. Hey, oh, it's going to have a dust bath. We go just to the left of the warthogs. Look at that. How cool is that? So that oxpecker has not come for an afternoon snack. It's actually come for a dust bath. You can see there's lots of impala and dung on the ground. Um, a little oxpecker, I don't know how well of a spot you've chosen because the ground over there doesn't look particularly sandy. Perhaps if you come out onto the road you'll have a better chance of finding some loose soil, which you'll be able to dust yourself around in. Still looking, and that's probably a good lookout point as well, <laughs> and a nice safe zone for that ox picker sitting on top of the warthog. There you go, it's gonna try its luck again, just to the left. That's a bit better, it obviously listen to me, it's now come out onto the road, you can see there's a tire track. Keep going, yes, keep coming a little bit closer, and you can see, <laughs> You can see if the tire tread is left in the ground, then the soil is definitely soft. Now, this is a really bad example of a bird dust bathing. As you can see, the bird is not actually creating a big cloud of dust like it should be. And those fine particles will then cover the, all the feathers of the bird and they suffocate the parasites. Look at that. Come on. I'm sorry, are you embarrassed now that I've said that you were not doing a very good job at demonstrating? You can try again. Here we go, another one's coming to the party. Let's see if you can do a better job. Now that looks like a juvenile. Can you see there how its bill's not completely red? So it's learning from one of the adults. And the youngsters hang around for quite some time. And exactly monkey see, monkey do. That one's sort of doing a different technique. It's sort of, uh, it must be a rock, rock star, the socks picker. As you can see, it was head banging quite a bit onto the ground. I think they're going to. What are you doing? You're going to go back to the warthog? You're feeling a bit nervous? But I love the way that they fluff themselves up. Birds, birds bathing in the water and birds dust bathing are always incredible things. I think the hornbills, the yellow billed hornbills, do dust bathing very well. And it's the most interesting track to have a look at. Oh, there we go. There's another adult that's come down. Must be a little family of ox pickers that have come through. And they'll have a dust bath, I'm sure, and before the sun sets, they will find a tree to rest in.